Okay, in this video we're going to look at uh, binary 2's complement. So this is how we represent negative numbers in binary. Well, for a start, if we want to represent negative numbers, what we need to do is look at the column headings. And if we take one byte, instead of the most significant bit being 128, with a 2's complement number, this becomes a negative. So if we have a 1 under this heading, we start off with minus 128. And if, for instance, we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, this will give us minus 128 plus 8. So this number that we've got on the board is minus 120. With two's complement numbers, this therefore gives us a range of positive numbers. Anything that starts with a zero is a positive number because it doesn't include the minus element. This is the highest number we can have in a two's complement number, which is 127. The lowest number we can have in a two's complement number is minus 128. So therefore, with 8 bits, 1 byte, we've got the range of minus 128 to 127. Now one of the easiest ways to convert a number into negative, for instance, let's take minus 52. If we want to represent what minus 52 is as a 2's complement number, let's start with 52 as a pure binary integer. So we write the column headings 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 as we have previously done and we work out what 52 is. So no 128s, no 64s. There's a 32 in there which leaves 20 left over so therefore a 16 and 4. And this then gives us 52. So this is 52, positive 52 as a pure binary integer, but what we wanted was minus 52. Now the law of two's complement states that we start on the right hand side here and we keep on going until we reach the first one. Now all of these numbers stay the same up until and including the first one. So we just copy these, so 0 is 0, 0 is 0, up to and including the first 1. So we've got a 1. After that, 2's complement gets its name because 0 becomes 1 and 1's become zeros. So as you can see from here, we've taken up to and including the first 1, we've left the same, and after that 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0, 1 becomes 0, 0 becomes 1, and 0 becomes 1. Therefore this number here is the answer to our question, that is minus 52. Ok, so we're going to have a look at another one now. Let's take uh, one more number and we'll go for minus, let's say, minus 100 and if we take 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 the first thing that we're going to do is work out what 100 is so 100 is 64 plus 32 which gives us 96 plus a 4 which gives us the 100 so that is 100 now that's not the answer because we want minus 100 so what we do, we apply 2's complement up to, and including the first 1, we leave as is. All the zeros become 1's, and all the 1's become zeros. And so our final answer, this number here, equals minus 100. The other thing that we may want to do, we may be given a number such as 
the following and we may be asked what that is in deanery if it was represented a twos complement number well we could write the column headings over the top 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 minus 128 and we could calculate it by doing minus 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 or because we can see that it is a negative number we know that because of the 1 in the most significant bit we can do backwards of what we did earlier and we can still apply the 2's complement law up to and including the first one we leave as is and then the rest we switch 0 becomes 1 1's become zeros. this then gives us it in its positive form 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 so this is 16 plus 2 plus 1 so that equals 19 which therefore this number here must equal minus 19 and that is how to convert a 2's complement number into its deanery equivalent one thing to be careful of if we see a 2's complement number and it looks like this then because it starts with a 0 we can see that it's not a negative number it's actually a positive number therefore we just work it out exactly the same way as a normal binary integer so therefore that would, yeah, that would be 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 and that would give us 92 so that would just represent the same as a 2's complement number as what it does as a binary integer that is how we deal with negative numbers in binary and that is 2's complement